DNA makes mRNA makes protein. And to figure out what protein a specific sequence of mRNA creates, we can use a codon table. Today I'll show you how. The genetic code consists of four bases which code for 20 amino acids. The nucleotides in the mRNA are read in triplets, called codons, which means that the total number of combinations are 4 to the power of 3, or in other words, 64 possible combinations. So we can read a mRNA strand from the left to the right in groups of 3. Each set of 3, or in other words, each codon codes for a specific amino acid. The mRNA can be interpreted using a codon table or a codon wheel. We will use the same strand of mRNA in both cases for simplicity to make sure you understand the idea behind both of these. Before we do anything else we need to find a start codon and a stop codon. From the table we can quickly notice that the start codon is AUG. The stop codon will either be UAA, UAG or UGA. For some reason, thinking about a caveman helps me remember all four of these start and stop codons. The space in between the start and stop codon is known as a reading frame. So starting with the codon table, we simply read it from the left to the right. The start codon codes for methionine. The second triplet is UGC. By looking at the table here, here and here, we can see that the second amino acid is cysteine. Then comes AUC. Now we look here, here and here to see that the next amino acid is isoleucine. The codon wheel is almost even more intuitive. You simply read from the center outwards. Let's use the same example to read out the final two codons. So next comes CCA. By simply starting from C, Going to the next C and all the way out to A, we see that the next amino acid in the chain is proline. The final codon is UGA, which you might remember since it sounds rather k like UGA. Anyway, let's read it out just to ensure that we know how to use the wheel as well. So we simply read U to G to A and find this little square, which if we look here we can see means stop. Congratulations, you now know how to use a codon table, as well as a codon wheel. If you want to learn more about how this process is actually carried out inside of the ribosome, check out this video. Until next time.